take a look at our damaged Johnson 5.5. You can uh, see pretty clearly there's a piston there and there's no piston and that bore down there looks like the rod bearing failed it beat up things pretty badly but I don't see any holes in the case alright let's see if I can get these loose with a ratchet there we go that was easy enough not loose by just giving it a tap like that so this nut comes off. See, I'm going to use the wrong tool and see if I can get away with it. I did. Look at that. Okay. Oh, so, <clears throat> we have two cylinders dynamically deleted one of them um, the reason it didn't start was because these coils failed there we go okay pop that plate off of there I don't know There we go. Usually a direct hit on one of those will free things up, but that looks like exactly what happened. Okay, we'll take this apart and we'll see. Okay, so there it has, well, it's got bearings like cast into the aluminum. And you can see how the one connecting rod beat the inside of the case up, but it did not escape. It stayed in there. Here is the crankshaft in what would normally be considered the um, upper part of the block. It does turn. Now, it didn't before. Oh, ha! That piston is seized in the bore. That's why it doesn't turn. And so all we did here is took the two bolts out of here. crankshaft is no good see mm, that's okay yeah you're not getting that out of there a lot of fight um, yeah that thing is righteously stuck in there the title of the video is an autopsy of a Johnson Sea King 5.5. What is the conclusion? These ignition coils failed so the engine wouldn't start. In an attempt to get the engine started, I believe, based on the evidence that exists, someone attempted to start it on ether, which they will run on ether without spark, causing the bearing on the lower cylinder to fail and ultimately destroy the engine.